Welcome back to Relearning Relationships. It's me, Christian. Now, recently I did a video discussing five signs of mummy issues in women. And to come full circle, I'm going to cover the other parent. Five signs of daddy issues in women. I know I've touched on daddy issues throughout many, many videos. You know, I've given breakdowns when I've done, you know, emails from different subscribers. But I want to give you all a concrete, definite video on this topic. So let's first start with the definition. Daddy issues. Now, to me, this is the DEFCON 1 of all red flags. As I mentioned before, most, if not all of the red flags you see in a partner can be traced back to unresolved childhood trauma. Something that happened to them in their childhood. Whether it's mummy issues, daddy issues, a traumatic experience, they got bullied, something really bad that affected them emotionally. Now, in this case, we're talking about daddy issues. Understanding the origin of daddy issues and its symptoms are going to give you the wisdom required to avoid troubled women. That will end up doing more harm than good to you. Now, fathers are instrumental in the emotional development and overall well-being of their children. Children look to their fathers to feel protected. Fathers that are involved in the lives of their family instill a sense of strength and safety in their children. Fathers set the bar for how we view relationships with others. A good father is present in his daughter's youth and plays a monumental role in giving her guidance, love, protection, security and emotional support. He disciplines her, instills morals and more importantly makes her trust in him. He serves as a model example of what qualities she should look for in a man. And thanks to his loving presence, she develops respect and appreciation towards the masculine. This means that by the time she reaches adulthood, her father has given her the much needed blueprint so she can find herself a good man whilst knowing how to avoid and stay clear from the bad ones. That's why it's so important. Now, where did daddy issues come in? Well, daddy issues come into existence when... A girl's father doesn't fulfill his, his duties to his daughter or as a husband to his wife. This can play out in different ways, but always resulting in hurting his family. Some fathers are absent because they were workaholics. Doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad person, but he wasn't there to fulfill her needs. Maybe he wasn't a family man. Some dads have no idea how to build a bond with their children. He may have been narcissistic and abusive towards the mother, resulting in a separation, a divorce that was violent. And the daughter witnessed that, which made her feel scared by her father. Okay. Some fathers may have their own inner wounds from their childhood that hinder their own ability to lead and love their families. You know, it could be that he was just a deadbeat who cheated and ran off with a different woman, abandoning his wife and daughter in the process. Regardless of all the reasons I've stated, this can, this can inflict serious wounds on a girl's ability to trust in men, if left unhealed. And that is the key, I'll repeat that, if left unhealed. Okay, fathers are vital in the upbringing of their children. For a daughter, it goes beyond, you know, just the provision of basic needs, right, that I mentioned before. It's more than that. You know, they say that a father is a daughter's first love or her first heartbreak. And that is a life lesson in and of itself. He's her first taste of male authority. Because as the head of the house, he sets boundaries, rules, and teaches her right from wrong. He's responsible for disciplining his children and for his daughter as well. Only a masculine father who is truly present and ever loving can deliver this much needed framework for his daughter. It's imperative for a young girl to build a loving bond with a father in order for her to form a lasting connection with a man. There is no way around it. Until, unless she's healed, of course. So, guys, when you get to know a woman, I mean, you're on a first date, whether you, you meet online or you meet in person, whatever happens to be, or you're introduced by a family member or a friend, it doesn't matter. You meet a church, it could be anything. One of the most important things to do is ask quality questions. And as I say all the time, as a man, you're straightforward, you're direct, you get right to the point. You want to know about her family background as soon as possible and then let her talk. 
So you ask her, tell me about your relationship with your father. What is he like? Now, pay attention. If she tells you she wants nothing to do with her father, she hates him, or mentions she doesn't want to talk about it, gets defences or claims it's none of your business, well, then you've got confirmation that she's unresolved. <laughs> Daddy issues. See, when a woman develops resentment, hatred, or is unforgiving towards her father, she's going to project that pain onto everyone that comes into her life. Statistically, she's going to be more prone to cheat, lie, abuse drugs and alcohol, become promiscuous and have little regard for her self-respect because she never felt loved or valued by her father. So she thinks, what's the point? Everything she does becomes about getting back at him, right? So she's going to be more on the attention-seeking side of looking outward and, you know, want attention from anyone and everyone. Whereas emotionally, emotionally stable women will only seek presence and love instead of good people in their life. Now, I will mention, just because a girl has daddy issues doesn't necessarily mean she becomes promiscuous and sleeps around and does all those things. Some women, they withdraw, they become codependent, they don't date men at all, they're too afraid to become close to men, and they close themselves off completely, like a, like a solid brick wall, okay? But on the other hand, when you look at a girl who grew up with a father or father figure, whether it's a grandfather, uh, an uncle or stepfather, who was present in her life, She's going to tell you about how much she loves him. And this is what you'll hear her say. She'll say things like, he was my hero. She'll share different stories from childhood, all the things he taught her, how grateful she is to have him in her life. She'll tell you that he's her first love, things of that nature. Okay, this lets you know how much she loves and respects him. So if she could love and respect him, then she could love and respect you. This is why girls that grew up in stable, happy households tend to be more faithful Submissive, better communicators and amazing long-term partners because from the time they were little girls, they learned to love, trust, most importantly, form a healthy emotional attachment with their fathers, okay? Only in the event, okay, when a, a girl tells you that she has healed after going to therapy, seeking counsel maybe at church or going to a support group, is it safe to date this type of woman? Because in this case, she's learned to accept that, you know, the dysfunctional upbringing and lack of safety she felt growing up had nothing to do with it. It wasn't her fault. And she's instead got undergone a process of growth and self-awareness that has helped her become stable, learn to identify trustworthy men and embrace her femininity. Okay, that is the only exception. When a girl tells you that and shows you that, then it's safe to date her. If not, on your bike, mate. And you can walk away. So let's go through the five signs that a woman has daddy issues. Number one, she has a history of seeking out older men, or at the very least displays an interest in older men. Now, it's common knowledge that women, generally speaking, will go for a guy that's a few years older than them. Because they typically associate men that are slightly older as men that have more wisdom and more mature tend to have their life together and hence more capable of leading, protecting, and providing for her. Whereas us men, we are more into women that are slightly younger than us, which is linked to more fertility, beauty, right? More, more submissiveness, right? It's more attractive. Now, healthy age gaps are going to be anywhere between what? One to five year age gap. So if you're a 25 year old guy and the girl's 21, that's normal. Okay. She's 19 and you're 24. That's all right. Um, Maybe you're watching this and you're 35 and she's 30 or she's 29 and you're 30. Or sorry, she's 29 and you're 36. That's, that's OK. It's still within that range. Even a seven year age gap is going to be considered normal. But here's the thing. That works because there's still room. There's still enough room for genuine desire and compatibility to exist. But when you get to that double digit age gap, guys, that's when things can go awry. Why would a 20-year-old girl at the peak of her beauty want to be with a guy that's 15 or 20 years older than her? All right, when she could easily meet and court a guy that's just a few years older than her and start a life with him. And if she does bond with that man, then she can spend the rest of her life and grow old with him. Well, why would that woman go for a man that's that much older than her? Well, it's common sense. Because women that go for such a large age gap 
are attempting to fill the void and the role of, a fa- of the father figure that they never had. And they look at the man they're dating to satisfy their wounded inner child that was neglected or abandoned by their real father. Look, I know there's going to be some idiot in the comments. There are some exceptions to the genuine, to the general rule. Okay? But ask yourself, what could they possibly have in common when the age gap gets that large? Okay? An older man, even an older man who is courting or dating a much younger woman, he deep down knows that she's emotionally underdeveloped or damaged and is isn't going to be with him for him instead for what he can do for her. So, you know, this is why couples that share the similar age group are more likely to bond due to shared beliefs, outlook and life and will be more attracted to one another naturally. Therefore, they meet the requirements for love to blossom. Okay, the larger the age gap, the likelihood of finding yourself stuck in a transactional relationship. And it's an obvious sign of daddy issues, guys. Don't neglect it. Now, the second sign of daddy issues is that she has no respect, no concept of personal boundaries. This goes not only for yours, but for hers. Now, one thing you will notice if you actually make it into a relationship with a girl with daddy issues is that she's a boundary pusher. She has no problem disrespecting you openly. She will emasculate you. She will go out of her way to say and do nasty things when she's fearful, when she's upset, not because she's a horrible person, but because she doesn't know any better. She loses control and doesn't know how to handle herself in situations where she's uncomfortable, unhappy, or she wants to communicate her needs simply because she never learned how to interact with a man in a healthy manner. Or from what she saw growing up between a father and a mother was so dysfunctional, that's what she picked up. You will also see how she may struggle to find her own space. And because you have to remember, she's stuck in a childlike state back in the back of her mind, in her heart. And she doesn't know how to communicate healthily what she wants, what she expects, when she's feeling good, when she's feeling bad. It becomes very difficult. And this can put a lot of strain on a relationship. So, I mean, what you will find as well is women that have dad issues, they tend to leave a streak behind of of bad relationships. Okay. And it always happens to be the, (laughs) the guy's fault. Well, I mean, when you look into it and you're with her, you kind of realise maybe she's the common denominator here. Okay, because women with daddy issues, uh, because they're stuck in that childhood stage of like clinging to a parent, they hold on. They need attention. They need affection. So when they fear that you're losing interest or you're pulling away or they're uncertain of how they feel, instead of communicating healthily, they will go off the rails. And they will pretty much disrespect you in the process of trying to seek affection and love from you, which is going to anger you. And in some cases, some of these women feel guilty for setting boundaries for themselves. They may feel like they're upsetting you. So it's going to be like up and down with a yo-yo. It can be very, very difficult to be with a woman like this. And this is clear cut sign that a girl has daddy issues. I mean, the whole concept of you having a relationship with such a woman, it's only going to get, with with this type of woman, it's only going to get so far before you run into some serious problems, right? Number three, she has a fear of abandonment. Common sense, right? This mindset is going to drive this girl to date anyone who walks into her life. This is also tied to giving anyone a chance, whether she finds him attractive or not. Which means women with daddy issues don't really have high or stable standards for men. They tend to choose bad men, abusive men, or recreate what they saw with the father because they don't know what they're looking for, right? They may come across a good man like you, but it's going to be difficult for her to appreciate and accept you because she never knew stability. She never knew peace growing up. So when she sees a man like you, and you treat her well, you're consistent, you're respectful, you stand up for yourself, you're masculine, you don't disappear, you're not cheating on her, you're faithful, you don't give her a reason to doubt you, that can scare her because she's thinking this isn't normal, something is about to go wrong here because she's not used to it, okay? So there is this constant fear of abandonment about what, of what her father did to her when she was younger that you or any man she dates is going to do the same to her. So she always tends to have like surface level relationships with men 
it never really goes deeper because she she's never gotten to that point. She never did that with her father. Remember, if she didn't form a healthy attachment with him or didn't heal from that, she won't do it with you, mate. Okay? So such women, they cannot stand or handle breakups. They find them soul-destroying. And it is unfortunate, but most women that have daddy issues will monkey branch, meaning that they will pretty much have another guy lined up and move on to him after dumping you because they don't know how to be alone. Being alone scares them, okay? They don't want that to happen. So they just line some other bloke up. Now, yeah, in most cases, most, you know, girls with daddy issues will be more prone to cheat, line up a replacement when their needs are no longer met. So yeah, it will result in monkey branching. But it doesn't mean for every case because if you are the one to break up with her, she will... Oof, she won't handle that breakup nicely. She will make threats. She may threaten to hurt herself. She may even threaten to kill herself. She may be very, very emotional, saying nasty things to you, which doesn't mean she's narcissistic, right? Because when somebody's upset, when they're angry, when they're hurt, when they're emotionally immature, they can say and do things they don't really mean, okay? Right, so I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. You break up with a girl that has daddy issues, and if she's try to build an attachment with you, now she's fearful again. Because the very fact that you're leaving her brings up those same memories of her father abandoning her. Abandoning her. So, she, so she associates the breakup with the pain of her childhood experience. And she's going to take that out on you, project that pain onto you. Okay. So that's one thing you will notice. If you do get involved with such a woman, she's going to be fearful of abandonment when you're busy when you're working out, when you're with your mates, when you're working on your career or your business, she's going to constantly require attention, validation. So it's very dangerous, right? And she will require everything, right? Attention, validation and compliments, but not just from you, but from anyone and everyone who's willing to give it and supply it to her. From random guys and girls too. Is that So they always need to be around other people. Even if they're not good for them, they don't care about them. They struggle to enjoy their own company because, you know, being alone is associated with memories of abandonment and neglect from their father. That's it. That's why they will even surround themselves in some cases with virtual or organic attention as a coping mechanism. Some of these girls go on social media and they post pictures showing off their bodies. They keep all these male friends in the background, you know, things of this nature. This is what you're going to see with daddy issues. Even if they're in a relationship with you, it, your attention isn't going to be good enough. Your presence isn't good enough. It's not safe enough. They need everyone and everyone and anyone to give them the same attention or else they feel like they're going to lose control. Number four, she tends to get involved with abusive or emotionally unavailable men. So look at her exes. Do a background check of all the men from her past. And you will notice a clear pattern of abusive or unavailable men and unavailable lovers. This is because as a child, she, extreme, she experienced extreme highs and lows with her father. So this translates to her seeking that same emotional spark in the men she dates. Which means, again, when she comes across a man such as yourself, it's difficult to bond with you. Because you bring a peace, safety, you're a good communicator, your actions and words match. So your normal, your very normal behavior is going to prevent her from committing to you. Because she's addicted to uncertainty. She's addicted to fighting. She's addicted to moving home six times as a kid. Or she's seen her father do so many horrible things. All the shouting matches, the silent treatment, witnessing the divorce and the cheating between her father and her mother. All of that is, that's all she knows. That's what she, she, she associates being in a relationship with. So you come along Mr. Normal and she can't accept or appreciate that, right? So if you do find yourself in a relationship with a girl like this, it's a matter of time before she loses interest, pulls away or leaves because she doesn't know how to be with an emotionally stable man such as yourself, Okay. And finally, number five, she is emotionally unavailable. Now, this is easy to spot so long as you don't 
project your own high interest level or your lust onto the woman. All you need to do is be an observer. Guys, the lack of emotional closeness with her father is going to translate into an inability for her to become emotionally connected to you. Now, when you look at how courtship progresses, dating progresses in a normal, healthy couple, what happens? They grow closer as the weeks and months go on, right? They start to spend more time around each other. In between dates, they start reaching out more, texting more, calling more. They slowly become a priority in each other's lives. And what you want, as a man, what you will notice is your woman will begin to open up to you and share feelings with you. Completely natural. Now, these are all the signs that things are progressing naturally and that emotional attraction is taking root in her heart. I mean, that's just the way it goes. But things are going to seem much different if the girl you're getting to know has some unresolved daddy issues. You're going to see strange patterns in her behaviour towards you that's going to give you a gut feeling that something isn't right. In plain English, she's going to be hot and cold. Now, let's say you go on a few dates, everything's going well. There's no ex in the background, okay, because you've asked her questions, you've seen it from her life. Assuming she's not seeing anybody else, okay, assuming you've done everything right, you haven't over-pursued, you've passed all her texts, right, you give her the time and space to come and go, you have a life outside of her, you have, you share chemistry and compatibility, right? she looks at you, she thinks you're a 10, you share the same values, you want the same things, everything's good, and you've been going out for a short time, right, a few weeks, month or so, and Considering everything I've said, all of that's good. And then all of a sudden, she just drops off the face of the earth after you spend time with her. She just vanishes. She stops texting. She stops calling. She just becomes busier than the president of the United States. When this happens, this is because she doesn't know how to be emotionally vulnerable around you. So once she starts to develop feelings for you, instead of her talking about them and sharing them with you. She's fearful that you're going to reject her. She's fearful that you're going to criticize her. So she's going to withdraw and she's just going to disappear because she needs time to process them and she doesn't know what to do. And then she'll, she will return. She could return later as if nothing happened or it may be a struggle, but you can open this woman up. It's going to be very, very difficult because what she's doing is switching off her emotions. In other words, she's not going to be showing up as natural with you anymore. Because she, the thing is, she's really grown to like you. But because she doesn't know how to, pro, how to deal with these emotions she's feeling, instead of coming to you with them as a normal woman would, to receive you. That's what women are designed to in their body, to receive a man, to be with a man. So instead of her going to you with these feelings and sharing them and seeking your your love and your presence she runs away she goes she's hot and then just like that she goes cold and you you will see a pattern of this happen from time to time guys this isn't normal i know there are some coaches or there's some other type of educational content on the internet that will tell you oh if everything's going well with a woman and she just disappears that just means she needs some time and space away from you uh yes and no it depends if you're over pursuing, right? If you're failing at tests, if you're being needy, insecure, jealous, you're saying and doing things to push her away, she's not really that into you, right? There's some other guy in the background, or, right? There is the exception to where you've spent a lot of time together, she will pull away. But what you will notice is in those cases where she just wants some time away from you, she will tell you. Hey, I need some time alone. I'm going to spend a few days by myself. I'm going to be with my family, reconnect with my girlfriends. I'll message you on Thursday, for example, two days from now, whatever. That's what a good, healthy, normal woman is going to do. Obviously, if you've said or done things to push her away, as I've just said, then yeah, she's just going to distance herself to test you to confirm if you are strong or weak, right? At which point you just wait for her to reach back out. That's a different story. This is what I've just said on this fifth um, sign 
is completely different. If you're doing everything right with a woman, you're having a healthy balance of you spend enough time together, you spend enough time away. You let her come and go. You know, you have everything in common. There's no one else in the background. There's no ex, but you know that she's had some issues with her dad or there's something there that could be unresolved. And then out of nowhere, she just disappears. That ain't a test, my guy. That's nothing to do with you. Okay? That's to do with her. There's something deeper going on. She doesn't know how to process those emotions. And if you stay in a relationship with a woman like this, it's going to be very difficult. Because dating an emotionally available woman, it's going to frustrate you. And it's going to go one of two ways. Either she's going to run away, because as she spends more time around you, her feelings rise. And instead of her coming to you, she will flee in the opposite direction. She's going to end up pushing you away. Okay? Um, So she either runs away or you yourself get tired, sick and tired of trying. Because she's not going to communicate. She's not going to open up. It's going to be very difficult if and when she does. Meaning you eventually will walk away yourself. Okay? Now, the only exception to the rule here and to this entire thing is if a woman seeks counsel, therapy, goes to church, seeks advice and takes the time to heal from these wounds. Only when she opens up her femininity is she ready to receive a man, court a man and date men. Until then, it's just not going to happen. Okay? Because her behavior has nothing to do with you. Right? It's her father neglected, abused, abandoned her, whatever happened to be, and she's holding on to that. That's what's locked into her mind. That's where her heart and her mind is. It's trapped over there. And until she lets that go, she's never going to open herself up to you. And guys, this is why it is so dangerous to date women with daddy issues. Because they're unpredictable. It doesn't mean they're bad women. Remember, some of them are going to be, on one spectrum, are going to be very promiscuous, going to be very, you know, damaged and very abusive and, you know, bark at you and test all your boundaries. Others are going to be very reserved, very quiet. They'll be very loving and sweet. And then just like that, they go cold on you. Okay? There's always going to be an element of of abandonment, of fear of being rejected by you. And it ties into all of this. So please, if you're going out there and you want to find a good woman, make sure if she has any of these problems, she's worked on them or she's in the process of. And you take it very slow. Okay? So guys, with that said, that's daddy issues. There's an in-depth breakdown for you. So you date a new woman and you're not sure, feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to kind of, you know, compare what you've seen with her to what I've said over here. So with that said, that's the video. For everybody who is new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are aware of any time I upload a new video. You are also more than welcome to share my content with friends and family and anybody you know who may benefit from my work. If you would like to reach out to me privately to book a coaching call or share a situation or ask me a question that you would like me to cover in a future video, the email is down in the description. And for everybody else who enjoys my content, thank you for all the love and support. I always keep you in my heart. God bless all of you. Have a lovely day and I'll see you all in the next one.